Don't you just hate when you buy a beautiful mechanical keyboard, it has a non-detachable cable on there? Well, today I'm gonna show you how we can mod our mechanical keyboards with USB-C ports so we can make it detachable and add a beautiful Juju cable to it. Let's get straight into it right now on Juju. Now you might be saying, Juju, why would I buy a keyboard that's wired when I can just buy a detachable one? Well, that's fair enough, but not everyone has a detachable mechanical keyboard or has made one like that or has the money to spend to make their own mechanical keyboard. So what this video is offering to the people that have mechanical keyboards is a way to mod it so that they don't have to change their keyboard. They love it already, they have good switches, you know, they don't want to spend extra money. They just want to mod it so they can put like say a Juju cable or a coiled cable or whatsoever. And I agree with that because like, look at my desk, right? So I've got this mechanical keyboard right here and I, I would hate not to have this detachable. Like literally, you know, with my Juju cables, I would be pretty upset if I could not remove my keyboard and move it somewhere else. So in a way it kind of offers the people to, you know, move around their desk and move around their cables and just, it's a bit more flexible and obviously portable. So that's why I think I'm gonna show people how to add their own USB connector. So if you're wondering what mechanical keyboard this is, this is a Xiaomi and it has red cherry switches and I'm giving it to my cousin because he wanted to have a Juju cable, but obviously most gaming mechanical keyboards are wired. Okay, so there's three main things you will need for this project. You will need a soldering iron, of course, a mechanical keyboard that has a non-detachable cable and you'll also need a USB-C female port, which looks like this. Now, if you wanna find these female USB-C ports, I will leave some links below because these are quite difficult to find if you're not familiar with lots of Chinese wholesale sites. I would recommend just buying the USB female port that I have because it has the right number of pins, which will support USB 2.0, and that's all you really need for a mechanical keyboard. If you don't have a good soldering iron, be sure to go check the links down below. I have so many recommended tools that only I use. I do not recommend any tools on my website if I do not use them and if I've not reviewed them. So be sure to go check out the SH-72 down below in the link because these are high quality irons and they're literally like quarter of the price of a TS-80. Okay, so it looks like you've got all the tools ready. So let's open our mechanical keyboard. Now this is a great keyboard because literally it came apart so easily, just had some screws and then I had to pop it out. Now the awesome thing about this mechanical keyboard is that Look at the wire, it's just here, right? And then on the other side, there's literally space cut out so we can put the USB-C port right here. So all I have to do is literally cut out a little bit of space and then chuck the USB-C port in there. And the funny thing is, if you look at that hole and the USB-C port on my hands right now, you can see how similar the size of that hole is. So literally, was this case made to be detachable? I don't know. So all we have to do now is essentially, we will leave this cable coming up to here. We'll cut off the cable around here and then we'll solder the wires to this USB port. All right, so let's do that now. Okay, here's a quick lesson on electronics here. So if we look at the USB-C port here, you can see V is on our left side, and then you can see data negative, data positive, and then the ground, which it looks like a C at the moment. You can see the red one will go on the V, the black one will go on the G, which looks like a C at the moment, actually. And then D minus will have the white, and then D plus will have the green. Okay, so using my wire cutters, these are called wire cutters. I'm just gonna cut some plastic away from here so we can fit the USB-C port into there and as you can see it's going to fit perfectly fine in that small hole so let's cut some plastic away and there you go not as pretty as i wanted it to be but we could easily use some putty or something white to cover it maybe like sugru so let's go ahead and start to solder to the pins here and get this done So what you're gonna do is turn on your soldering iron, then we're gonna put the wires onto the USB-C port and solder it, and then we are done. So let's do that.
and don't forget a little bit of electrical tape will help as well. Okay, so now I've soldered it in place. All I'm gonna do is glue this USB-C port into here and then we can test the cable. All right, let's try this out right now. All right, you ready? Let's see if we got this on the first try. So here's my USB cable and oh my gosh, I'm gonna try this with one hand, but can we get it? Oh, did you hear that? No, no, first time. No way, <laughs> we did it. We did it guys. First time and that was super bloody simple. So all I'm gonna do now is glue this into place, okay? And then maybe we can find a way to make this front side look a bit prettier. And oh my God, you wanna see the results? Are you sure? Are you ready? Okay, check it out. Look at that. How beautiful does that look with a detachable cable instead of one thick, ugly cable? That looks gorgeous. So now all my cousin needs to do is take it out remove the keyboard, and then at any time, he can change his mechanical keyboard. Well, obviously he only has one, but I have two. So the hell with this cable. Now all we need is a detachable USB cable, a Juju cable. Now you can't tell me that that wasn't an awesome tutorial on how to mod your own mechanical keyboard so you can make it just like the enthusiast mechanical keyboards. It was very simple, very easy to do. You just need some simple tools and some patience and that's all. Okay, now go like the video, subscribe because that's all for me, yalla bye.